Ever feel like finance is a secret club and apparently you missed the invitation? Well, you're not alone. It's like everyone else got a golden ticket to the finance factory and you're stuck outside, squinting at the shiny building wondering why your money doesn't multiply like rabbits, right? But here's the good news. Finance isn't some exclusive club that requires a secret handshake or a decoder ring. It's not a magic trick or a mysterious art understood only by Wall Street wizards. No, finance is for everyone. Yes, you heard that right. Everyone. Regardless of where you come from, how much you earn, or what you do for a living, you too can master the art of finance. You see, finance is simply about understanding how money works and using that knowledge to make informed decisions. It's about learning to read the financial weather, so you can set sail with confidence, knowing you're heading towards a secure and prosperous future. In this video, we're going to talk about financial literacy and practical skills. We'll delve into concepts like income, expenses, saving, investing, and debt. We'll share resources that can help you understand these concepts better, and we'll highlight the benefits of being financially literate. We'll also discuss how to track your finances. You'll learn about the importance of keeping a close eye on your income and expenses, and discover popular methods for doing so. We'll even share a bonus tip about effective budgeting. And that's not all. We're going to show you how to put your newfound knowledge into practice. We'll talk about building an emergency fund, managing debt wisely, saving for long-term goals, and the basics of investing. So buckle up, we're about to demystify finance and make it as accessible as a cup of coffee at your local cafe. Think of your financial knowledge as your fortress. The stronger it is, the safer your money. Now let's dive into the building blocks of this fortress, shall we? First of all, financial literacy. It's like the foundation of your fortress. It involves understanding basic financial concepts like income, expenses, saving, investing, and debt. And no, you don't need a business degree to get the hang of it. There are plenty of resources out there from online courses to podcasts to good old fashioned libraries. Why bother you ask? Well, financial literacy empowers you to make informed decisions and avoid costly mistakes. It's like having a superpower that shields you from the financial kryptonite. Next up, tracking your finances. It's as crucial as the watchtower in your fortress. It's about keeping an eye on your income and expenses to understand your spending habits. And thankfully, you don't need an abacus for that. You can use budgeting apps, spreadsheets, or even a humble notebook. It's not about being a penny pincher, but knowing where your money is going. Now here's a bonus tip for effective budgeting. The 50-30-20 rule. It's simpler than a high school math problem, promise. It suggests spending 50% of your income on needs, 30% on wants, and saving the remaining 20%. It's like having a blueprint for your fortress, guiding you on where to build and where to conserve. But you might wonder, what's the point of all this fortress building business? Well, it's all about protecting your hard-earned money, making it work for you, and setting yourself up for a financially secure future. It's about being the king or queen of your own financial kingdom, making decisions that will fortify your fortress against unexpected storms and enemy attacks. Remember, a strong fortress isn't built overnight. It takes time, patience, and a sprinkle of determination. So, keep learning, keep tracking, and keep building. Your financial fortress awaits. If you're finding value in this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom. So, you've built your financial fortress. Now it's time to put that knowledge to work. Let's start with the idea of an emergency fund. Think of it as your financial safety net designed to cover those unexpected expenses that life tends to throw your way. From sudden car repairs to unforeseen medical bills. It's like having your own personal superhero, swooping in to save the day when things go wrong. But how much should you stash away in your emergency fund? Well, a good rule of thumb is to aim for about three to six months worth of living expenses. This gives you peace of mind, knowing you can weather a financial storm without sinking into high interest debt. Next up, let's talk about managing debt wisely. Not all debt is created equal. There's good debt, like a mortgage or student loans which can be seen as an investment in your future. And there's bad debt, like credit card debt, which tends to have high interest rates and offers no long-term benefits. Managing debt effectively is all about understanding the difference and creating a strategy to tackle it head-on. You might have heard of methods like the debt snowball or avalanche techniques, or even debt consolidation. The key point is to control your debt before it controls you, freeing up resources for other financial goals. Now we've all been told that saving is important, but have you ever thought about why? Saving allows you to prepare for long-term goals whether it's retirement, education or that dream vacation you've always wanted. There are different ways to save, from high-yield savings accounts to retirement accounts like individual retirement accounts or IRAs. 
The magic here lies in the power of compound interest and the benefit of starting early. It's like planting a seed and watching it grow over time, eventually blooming into a beautiful financial future. Last but not least, let's dive into the world of investing. Investing is essentially making your money work for you. It's about building wealth over time through different investment types like stocks, bonds, and ETFs or exchange-traded funds. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Investing can be complex, so it's important to diversify your investments and consider seeking professional guidance. Like a well-oiled machine, your finances should work for you, not against you. So, take control, make informed decisions, and watch your financial fortress stand tall and strong. Imagine your money as your personal army, marching forward to conquer your financial goals. What's the first battle for your money army, saving for long-term goals? These might be retirement, a child's education, or that dream vacation to Tahiti you've been daydreaming about during your lunch break. These might be retirement, a child's education, or that dream vacation to Tahiti you've been daydreaming about during your lunch break. Each dollar you save is like enlisting a new soldier in your money army. And where do you send these troops? To high-yield savings accounts or retirement accounts like individual retirement accounts where they can bulk up and become stronger over time. But saving money is just the basic training. To truly let your money flex its muscles, you need to introduce it to the gym of investing. Investing is like giving your money a personal trainer, helping it grow stronger, faster. Stocks, bonds, exchange-traded funds, these are the weightlifting, cardio, and Pilates for your money. Now if you're new to the investing game, it might seem like a foreign language. But don't worry, there are plenty of resources available to help you decode the jargon. Books, websites, even some very helpful YouTube channels, wink, wink, can guide you through the basics and beyond. Just remember, no matter how pumped your money gets, it's important not to put all your eggs in one basket. Diversification is the key to a well-rounded investment portfolio. Think of it as a balanced diet for your money. You wouldn't eat only protein bars all day, right? So don't feed your money just one type of investment. And if things get too complex, don't hesitate to seek professional guidance. There are financial advisors out there who are like personal trainers for your money. They can help design a workout plan tailored to your financial goals and risk tolerance. Remember, your money is your army. Equip it well, strategize wisely, and watch it conquer your financial goals. We've journeyed through the land of finance together and guess what? You're still standing. Yes, it's been a whirlwind tour, but don't worry, we're not leaving you high and dry. Let's recap the key points we've covered, just to make sure you're ready to tackle the financial world, head on. We started with building your financial foundation. Remember, understanding basic financial concepts like income, expenses, saving, investing, and debt is crucial. It's like knowing your ABCs before you start reading Tolstoy. And don't forget, resources such as online podcasts and libraries are your allies in this journey. Then, we moved on to tracking your finances. It's like keeping a diary, but instead of documenting your emotions, you're documenting your spending habits. Budgeting apps, spreadsheets, or good old-fashioned notebooks can be your tools of choice here. And hey, don't forget the golden rule, the 50-30-20 rule. It's like the North Star guiding you through the financial galaxy. Next, we put knowledge into practice. Building an emergency fund is like having an umbrella for a rainy day. It gives you peace of mind and keeps you away from high-interest debt monsters. And speaking debt, remember the difference between good and bad debt. Strategies like the debt snowball or avalanche method are your secret weapons in the battle against financial stress. And lastly, we discussed making your money work for you. Saving for long-term goals is like planting seeds for a future harvest. The power of compound interest is your secret sauce here. As for investing, think of it as your financial gym. It's where you pump up your wealth muscles over time, with a little help from stocks, bonds, and ETFs. But remember, you're not alone in journey. Resources like financial advisors or community programs are there to provide personalized guidance. So don't be shy, take action, share your financial journey and seek help if needed. Remember, finance isn't a secret club. It's a tool, a friend, and with a little bit of learning, it can be your ticket to financial freedom. And hey, if you found this journey helpful, don't forget to give this video a like. Share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. You won't want to miss what's next.